Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. <laughs> I am. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Wouldn't that be good for you? Shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut through this. Okay, and we are back. Now, uh, mainly what I did, I kitted Alistair out. You see Alistair's got a brand new... Uh, Alistair's got a brand new combine, Alistair. He's got a new crossbow. <laughs> and he's also got a new dwarven longsword, which should be increasing his damage output. I also painted Glenald in my spare time, whilst everybody else was dealing with the transaction. <laughs> Now let's loot all this stuff we came before, because this is clearly his, and I don't care about looting him. Yoink. Ooh, a short bow. Lovely. I'm not going to bother selling it to him. What the hell is that? It's amazing how little um, health poultices I have, by the way. I must use a ton of them in that fight with the troll. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Smell back. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. Right. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Uh, thank God you're here, kid. What's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. Really? His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Well, the chant of light must be able must be applicable in many situations then. Um So there's a bit like a vow of silence. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Right. <laughs> the maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say with that? No. <laughs> Chanter says what? What? <laughs> oh, you got him to speak. Ha! <laughs> uh, what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. <laughs> okay. I'll check out the board. Bye now. That was funny. <laughs> bandits! Bandits everywhere! As described on behalf of Sir Bryant's Templar and Defender of the Faith, know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templar offers a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying the trade in the northern wood and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of concern. Oh, hi. Uh, beware, the ba I've never read a single one of them. I've just been reminded of them. <laughs> The bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travellers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. Three, okay. This humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up an another victim to these evil men. The road for such service is three sovereigns. Sovereigns? Three silver? I hope it's three gold. Yeah, yeah. Why the hell not? Let's take it. Take it in here. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. You're hurting my head. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. Mm. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Wow. Um, you... Why don't you keep your voice down a little bit? I watch the Black Heart descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! Wow, this guy must have been through hell. Yeah, this. My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! Hmm. They can be defeated. No! I have seen them! 
You cannot run! You cannot fight! Yeah, standing around and shouting won't save you. There is nothing to do! No hope is left! <sighs> Could you clock like a chicken when you do? <laughs> yeah. Are you calling me a coward? Definitely. I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for a moment. I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. He was right, wasn't he? Nope. There's no hope for us. Oh, come on, not you two. There's always hope. You're right. Well, that was quick. We can't give up. <laughs> but we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. What are you going to do there? All of you seem to know what <laughs> what that entailed. I don't know what that entailed. Hi there. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Right, tell me about it, right? What a loud guy. Sir Maron, you see. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Um, are you actually closed? We turn none aside, but we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. Mm. May he protect us all. Yeah, whatever. Uh, did you know there are bandits on the highway, by the way? Were? Did you drive them off? Mm-hmm. Oh, so Brian will appreciate that. Yeah, okay. Uh, bye now. Maker, watch over you. Oh, actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes? Bug you again. Have you heard any news? Not since Teon Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Yeah, right. Okay, bye. Make her watch over you. In we go. Hmm. Well, plenty of refugees around. Oh man, there's definitely room in here for people to sleep. Come on now. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. You seem like a good fellow. Yes. Who might you be? Um, I'm a great. I am the Grey Warden Nathan. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Mm. Tan Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the king's death. Um. You know this, I hope. If I did, I wouldn't have told you I was a Grey Warden. <laughs> uh, he claimed we're responsible. And set a bounty on any who survived. Mm -hmm. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. Yeah. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, about those bandits outside the village, by the way. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Um, well, one less. <laughs> they robbed me a dramatic compensation. Uh, yeah, one less. Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Um, no, no. I'm not going to milk a town for profit when at a time like this. Those bandits have stolen enough already. Besides, I, I got to keep everything that they stole anyway. That is very generous of you. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside, full of quests that need doing. The Chanter's even offer pay for some of them. That's all news. Uh, unless there's something else you need. Um, I do need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Yeah. Uh, well, actually I wasn't going to ask about any of that. I'll, I'll just go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Good luck here. I don't... I've kind of decided that I'm not going to be over overly religious, and that's kind of the same way I'm in I'm in life. More agnostic, I guess you'd say, is the simplest version of what I am. You're right, Donald. You look really. Yeah, you okay? It's fine. But these people, these Templars, and a lot of the people working the Chantry, they do a lot of good. I respect that about them, and that's true of religion in real life as well. Oh, a book. Oh, the first Blight, Chapter 1. Well, that is interesting. I might want to read that at some point. Sir Donal, I th you ring a bell. Ooh. I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donal? Is that you? Hmm. Alistair? 
By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. Mm -hmm. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Mm -hmm. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Right. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Um, I actually know a little bit about the story behind the Chanter and who Andraste is. Um... Just from, I've, I've been looking up some extra codex entries via the wiki, just stuff I'm interested in and that I feel like my character should already know about. Um, I'm sure nobody has a problem with me doing that, it's not exactly spoilers, just codex entries. Um, what did you do? Oops. Yeah, well actually there is a note. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Mm -hmm. Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. The trail appears to start off in Denrim. You might want to start there, but I'm, I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Plenty, I suppose. Just in general around here. Um, can you tell me more about this urn? Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Um... <laughs> Perhaps I can help. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Mm. Ciao for now. Sacred Ashes of Andraste. Chant of light scattered in Chanters, the books. Spells, See the bookshelf over ignorance. here. Let those who cry out from shadows. All right, come all right. Codex entry was that. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> Just got that entry. I'll read it another time. Those who have sinned, be forgiven. And when the chant oh, spreads cabinet. across all four corners of the world, can't unlock, you say. Oh. The, the revered mother. Hello there. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Mm. <laughs> what is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Oh. <sighs> Fine. It's going to a good cause, I suppose so. Thank you, my son. What can I do for you, then? I feel like my generosity is starting to wane. I feel like I'm, I'm being milked here a little bit. <laughs> Um, look, nothing, nothing. Farewell to you then, my son. I don't want to put her in a position where I tell her I'm a great warden, you know? I'm kind of here to help, but... It might put her in a compromising position and she may need to wrap me out. Wrap me out. There we go. Enough in the chantry. Ready. Well, I have to say, guys, I think that might do me for today. We're in Lothering. We'll move on when I come back, consider this our rest stop in this town. I don't know what we're going to do next. We have a choice of places to go. I know where I went on my first play, but I don't know where I want to go now, first. It'll, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about that next time. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And me and my party will see you next time. Can he wait? <laughs>